All right. So, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Powerbomb Project. I am Daniel. And I'm Berman. And I'm Chris. Today, despite what happened, I hope you all can find some entertainment out of this channel and out of this. We are going to be looking at the Four Horsewomen with an unbiased take, all three of us, me, Chris, and Berman. And we are going to decide who out of these four horsewomen in the WWE is the best. So, without further ado, let's dive into the first category, which is the entrance and theme. All right, so for Charlotte, we got Recognition, which is like kind of somewhat of a remix of her father's theme, but not entirely. Then we go to Sasha Banks, uh, Sky's the Limit. Currently, she's representing that Snoop Dogg remix. We got Becky Lynch with the Celtic Invasion. Uh, and then we got Bailey with Deliverance. So, right off the bat, due to lack of originality, I am knocking Charlotte off immediately. Um, I, I will say, I, I think it comes down to Sasha versus Bailey actually, on this. And honestly... You know what? You know what? Only one's got Snoop Dogg, and that's Sasha Banks. So my point is going to Sasha Banks. Where you, where you got Berman? Going Sasha. I don't. I actually like Deliverance. I, if you're not talking about the new style, by Bailey, I like Deliverance, but I love Sasha Banks a lot more. So I'm taking Sasha. All right, and for you, Chris. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Sasha Banks. I, I like her theme. I'm not. I'm not that big of a fan of her theme, if I'm being quite honest. It's it's sort of generic, and the only thing that makes it kind of cool is the Snoop Dogg. And I know that's her cousin, but out of all four, I gotta give it to to Sasha. Okay. All right, yeah, for sure. Now, that's three points right there for Sasha Banks right off the bat. Next category is the finishers. So, the finishers, we got Charlotte with the figure eight. Sasha Banks with the bank statement, Becky Lynch with the disarm her, and Bailey with the Bailey to belly. So right off the bat, I am eliminating two. I'm eliminating Becky and I'm eliminating Bailey. So uh, it comes down to Charlotte and Sasha. We did have to put it down to one finisher because some of these wrestlers only do have one finisher and some have two. So it wouldn't have really been fair to categorize that. But with that being said, between the bank statement which is kind of like a modified crossface. And then as for uh, Charlotte's figure eight, it's basically like a variation of the figure four, but she basically, you know, uh, does like a little handstand while having the figure four locked in. So essentially, I respect the creativity and I, I respect the fact that not many people have escaped it. So it looks credible. It gets the job done. And I don't like doing this, but I'm going to give the point to Charlotte Flair. Alright, for me, don't me wrong, I actually like this. The figure, four, figure eight is nice. I like the bridge that she does. But to me, I love the bank statement so much more just because of the setup she does. The backstabber into the bank statement just feels good and it just mean. It looks mean and when she when uh, Sasha Banks does it, it looks like her uh, the opponent's back is bended so badly. It just I always love to see the bank statement. So I'm taking Sasha, Sasha for me. All right, and then for you, Chris. Mm. Well, for this instance, I'm kind of torn because I do like Charlotte Flair's like figure eight statement of her whole like saying up to her little little handstand or whatever you called it, and then of course you have bridge. Sasha a bridge. There you go, thank you. And then you have Sasha Banks' painful backbreaker, but into the submission. But I'll I'll give it to Sasha just for the fact that it it is a more of a little setup to the submission hold. So. I'll give it to Sasha Banks just because it looks more brutal than Charlotte. But Charlotte does All have right. the creativity. Sasha with five points, Charlotte with one. Now, we move on to the overall move set. Now, when it comes to the third category, the overall move set, I must say this. I like Bailey a lot, but when I think of her, I don't think immediately of her move set, so she is off the table for me. And Charlotte, I could say, 
A lot of her moveset is adapted from her father, and it isn't really too original, so I'm going to have to knock her off as well. We're down to Sasha and Becky. Now, I think Becky has great innovation within her moves. However, I think Sasha is even more uh, innovative. I think her moves are very unique, and not many people do what she does. So, with that being said, I'm giving the third point to Sasha Banks. Uh, simple for me. I like Sasha a lot more. I just don't. I don't think Charlotte or Becky are super original with their stuff. So, and Bailey, yeah, I love her, but I think Sasha is just so much better at doing her stuff, mainly with that frog splash, from Eddie Guerrero, the tribute. So, I have gotta give her Sasha. Okay, fair enough, Berman. I mean, uh, Chris. Shoot. Ah. Uh... Oh man, it's a bit tough, and I don't want to look like a, a Sasha fanboy, but anything with Eddie Guerrero, <laughs> dude, it's automatically going to get a point for me because if you watch our previous episode, the Evil review, she goes into depth of why she uses that move a lot, said a lot, and then I, I just like Sasha Banks more than all these other competitors. Not to disrespect any of them, but I got to give it to Sasha just for for my boy Eddie Guerrero. All right. All right, all right, all right. So Sasha with eight points and Charlotte with one. The other two have zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next next category, the fourth one is the mic skills. Now with these mic skills, it's just going to be completely fair. Charlotte used to have some good mic skills from time to time, but she just became fucking cardboard, ain't it? So she's off the list for sure. And then we go over to uh, Becky, and Becky used to have some pretty good promos, but recently I just feel like she hasn't been on top of her promo game. And then as for Sasha, as much as I love Sasha, I will admit the main thing she is not known for is her promo style. So with that being said, there is one person who I find very entertaining on that, that microphone, and that's Bailey. Whether it's as a face or as a heel, Bailey is really able to make many things work, and I feel like when it comes to character work, she is probably the most creative and versatile out of the four. So, uh, so I'm going to give this point to Bailey. I think it's completely fair, and I'm probably going to stand by that too because I always love watching Bailey, and I'm a big fan of her being the mean, the mean heel. I'm a personal fan of the heel version of her with the rose plant. That's my favorite finisher from her, but we're not talking about that. But I definitely am going to give it to Bailey too. Mm. All right, and for you, Chris, I, I want to be sort of fair because, like I, I know what you said before, like many of these wrestlers or my skills up to now were pretty bad, but it, if I were to lurk, look in the pack, excuse me, of like who I personally like the most, and currently I would give it to Bailey, but overall when they do come up in the mic, I have to give it to uh, Becky. I really like okay. her. Yeah, her style. Like I know right now, it's not the greatest, but personally, I like back to your whole "I'm the man" sort of deal. So, yeah, that's respectable. I can I can respect that. Yeah, I I just think there because of all the you know the whole drama right now, it's kind of affecting everyone's more out. But uh, I'll give it to Becky because I really enjoyed her whole her little thing, face or heel. Well, preferably her heel stance. I enjoyed more. All right. So Becky. so. Becky and Charlotte have one point each. Bailey has two points, and Sasha has eight. <laughs> Next category is the face. Now, who is the best face out of these bunch? Honestly, man, definitely isn't Charlotte. Definitely isn't Charlotte. People love Becky. Like, love Becky. So that... I, and. Her face one was was quite quite decent. I can't deny it, but there were times throughout it where I could have gotten bored. But I don't know, man. Uh, Sasha, I, I I love Sasha. Don't get me wrong, but she is definitely not the best face out of these four. That that would be kind of slander to the rest of them. So, uh, it's either freaking Becky or Bailey for me on this one. Honestly, I got so behind Bailey in NXT. It wasn't even funny, and I knew. Despite all the bad booking, the audience would still root for her, and I would still root for her. 
So honestly, in that regard, I think she has, you know, the strongest game as a face. So I'm going to be unbiased again, and I'm giving this face category to Bailey. Um, let's see. I would. This is actually going to matter to me. Yeah, I don't definitely not going to go with Charlotte. Um, yeah, I like Becky, but technically, I actually really hated her as a in gym just because of like how she's damned. I just don't know why, but I just never got into her. So more, I actually liked Bailey more as a face. She was more, she was fun, and I liked how her wrestling star kind of fit, fit her hugger personality. So I gotta give it to Bailey myself. All right, and you, Chris. Is that even a question, man? It's got to be Bailey, and just for the reason, all that WrestleMania match she showed me was mm, perfection with Sasha Banks. So, just for that oh, reason yeah, the, alone, the, the Takeover Brooklyn one. And plus, Bailey, you know, she was getting shit on constantly over time, and she finally got her title shot. So, out of these women, I'm giving it to Bailey. Yep, for the best face. All right, Bailey got five points, so making a little bit of a catch up here against Sasha Banks with eight, while the other two only got one. So, next category is who is the best heel. Now, Charlotte may do a good job at making us hate, uh, you know, her in, in WWE, but I feel like that's just due to the fact that we see her every goddamn week. And honestly, she's always in the title picture. She cannot rest from it. So, I think it's more of booking that makes me irritated of her than her actual heel, heel work. So, Charlotte is once again not in consideration. So we got three right here. You know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Becky off. I'm gonna take Becky off. This is definitely between Sasha and Bailey for me. I think Sasha is really in her you know on her po point whenever she is a villain. Whenever she is doing her work as a heel, putting the other faces over, and not just putting the other faces over, but putting herself over as a heel. She really does a good job in both senses. And as much as I really think Bailey does make a really fun and good heel, something else really hit different about Sasha during those NXT days and the way she uh, you know, is able to heal up here and there in certain matches is just great. So I got to go with Sasha. It fits her character the most out of all four. Well, this is going to be a quick thing for me because I always loved uh, Sasha in NXT. She was a mean person, you, and the big thing in the in the re, in evil, uh, she's mainly the one who uh, will insult or make or like pretty much don't uh, make a kid cry. There's not a lot of heels who would actually make a uh, who would make a kid cry like what Sasha did to the Bailey fan. So I gotta give it to Sasha myself. Damn. And Chris? I was going to use that too, Bourbon. Damn it. I was going to use her making the little kid cry. I'm like, you're just so evil. You don't do that to children. Unless you're the Undertaker. But besides the point, it, it's definitely going to be Sasha Banks, but not to discredit uh, Becky Lynch because she was definitely pretty good as a heel with her whole champion run at the time. So not to discredit her, but overall, come on, dude. It's Sasha. Everyone loves Sasha. She's just better as the heel. She's yeah. there. So Sasha Banks. Damn, y'all. So Sasha has already won with 11 points. Oh. <laughs> but now we're going to go on to the final category just for fun. The most convincing athlete. Now in this category, it's very simple. Who has the most convincing look? Who looks like they can eat you for their dinner. So, for me, it's it's very simple, honestly. So, as much as I love Sasha, she definitely doesn't have that athlete look. And don't worry, she's already won the entire thing, so it doesn't even matter if I give her the point. So, honestly, Charlotte kind of looks too muscular in my opinion it's it is kind of freaky but so, and honestly bailey i don't feel like has enough muscle put on i feel like becky is like honestly the best in between 
you know, in terms of physiques. I think she probably has the best physique out of all four when it comes to an athlete standpoint. And Becky just seems quite convincing to me uh, when it comes to the way she wrestles. So, yeah, out of all four of them, I'm going to give this point to Becky Lynch. I think that's fair on that. I like I like most of them. There's only a, I think I don't like Charlotte. Um, I gotta give it to yeah. I gotta give it to Becky. Becky to me. Don't even if I really don't like her that much, but I do respect her as a wrestler. I just don't like her as a in my opinion. So, but I would give it to Becky even. If. All right, and then Chris. Hmm. Well, I'm with the majority, so I'm going to give it to Becky because uh, she may not have win this time, but definitely anytime she wrestles, I'm I'm going to take it seriously. She's really the most athletic. Well, I I guess to give her a credit, maybe Charlotte. She is pretty athletic, but when it comes to most convincing, maybe like 40% of the time when she's doing the same thing over and over again. But out yeah. of athletes, I definitely give it to uh, Becky because she's probably one of my favorites to see all well, match wise but yeah yeah like she has muscle she does athletic stuff basically her moves just look convincing to me that's just all to it and she's a mom so yeah and when they, when we are looking at the final points we in fourth place we got Charlotte Flair with one point in third place we got Becky Lynch with four points. In second place, we got Bailey with five. And then Sasha has won with 11. Dominating the competition, goddamn. So, yeah. Sasha, Bailey, Becky, Charlotte, honestly, I personally think that's fair. Uh, maybe, maybe you can d- debate about the Becky Bailey one, maybe. Hey, it is what it is. Good list, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Daniel. And Chris. And we'll see you all in the finale, the next episode of Who is Better?